don't be the size. Hey, still not understanding. Hey y'all, it's your girl Days, and we back with another video. In this video, we're gonna install a 13 by 6, 26 inch wig from Blink Hair. Y'all see that frontal? It was given. So this wig was only $93, $93.99, okay? It comes with a band. It was really like a all uh, pre-plugged everything. So I went in with my lace spray. You can get this from any beauty supply store. The lace spray is very easy to apply. It's more easier than caking all that makeup on that you don't need. It make the wig last longer. So I'll provide y'all to go get this. So now we just put in the, the lace on your head correctly. This lace is a lot of lace. So I'm making sure that it's evenly on my head how I want it to correctly be. Cause once you cut the lace, the lace is over with. So I cut just excess and extra lace off from around my ears so I can see so it can be better. So at this part, you're going to cut around, cut by the ears, more extra lace. If you got a lace like this, it's okay to cut all the extra lace, but don't cut too much so you still gotta make sure it's right in place and know exactly where you're cutting before you cut. So now I'm just coming back and I'm just making sure this is where the placement I want my wig to be. And I'm just going in with the hot comb just to be extra. But I'm just making sure it's flat before I even get everything situated. So now I'm going down, just cutting between the lace so it's so it can fit when I pull the lace back if that makes sense. So in this part we're just going to put whatever lace glue you want to add. I use dollar, dollar lace glue because I heard it's extreme hold. So I've been using this for the last two installs and I can say that mug will be sticking. Okay. Okay, and this I'm just going around the edges. Please make sure it is thin, even saturated layers of lace glue. If it's too much, it's not going to work. It's not going to stick. Your install is not going to last. And I'm telling you that from so experience. I'm going in probably my third layer. If you sweat a lot, it's best to use up to four to five layers because. The more layers you use, the longer your wig is going to last. And that's just my advice. So we're going to go in and let it dry just a little bit until it gets tacky. If the glue is not clear, that means you added too much and it's not going to last. If it's clear enough, you can go in with another layer or you can go ahead and apply your wig. So I got my fan and I'm just letting it dry out just a little bit. And now... I done added probably five layers and I put my lace on making sure it's where I want it to be but this lace glue was so strong I couldn't even move it back if I wanted to so I'm just pressing down the sides and making sure you see the wig is intact the wig when I didn't even put a lace band on it already was stuck so now I'm going to go in with just a little extra lace because lace glue because the ends was kind of coming up but that's normal so it's okay so now i'm going with my fan just blowing it dry so i can get ready to put my lace band on so now we're going to put a lace band on it doesn't matter what lace band it is just grab a lace band it could be skinny thick whatever color just slap it on I didn't even leave mine on for that long because it was already stuck. Like, so I just went in with my hot comb, just giving that press look just to buy time. So I took my lace off, lace band off, and I'm just going around the edges, pulling up the little hairs that do get stuck in the lace, cause that happens. So I'm going in with my melting spray, and melting spray just gives that natural look. It don't matter what melting spray, 
I use Dawa hair melting spray. I kind of combine it with Touch by Macy lace spray. I'm usually a fan of Touch by Macy, which I am, but you know, there's nothing wrong with trying something different. So I learned this new hack just to get a random brush when applying melting spray to the lace because you can get it all over your forehead and then it's going to start looking a mess and then it's going to ruin the lace when you take the lace band off. As you see, it's not ruining the lace. So we're going with some Kiss makeup. I didn't really apply much because having a lot of makeup on doesn't make, it makes the lace not last if that makes sense. So I'm going in with my tweezers, getting the extra little hairs and fragile little hairs out the way so my wig can be looking natural. So this is the install and it's completed. Now, if you did all the steps correct, correctly, your lace is going to look natural, given out the scalp. If you're still here, now we're going to get into this style that I decided I wanted to do. So, I'm not going to really talk through this style because it's going to really just go through fast. It's just a, another part I want to add it into this video. So, if you want to watch it, you can. But if you just want to watch the install, that's fine too. Whatever. But, if you're still here, I'm just doing a half up half down with two bangs curled ponytail little edges on the side just something simple this is my first time actually doing this hairstyle i'm not really good with styles i'm trying to switch it up i know people tired of middle part side parts i'm tired of that so yeah so if you want to continue to watch this go ahead don't forget to leave a like, follow, comment, follow my social media, subscribe, hit that note, that bell notification, okay?
was definitely giving natural hair. This hair was so thick and full. It was crazy. Just for $93? Where are you going to find out that? Anyway, I'm going to drop all the links below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. I